the fundamentals of skating. Brought to you by How To Hockey and sponsored by HockeyShot.com. Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. And Scott from The Science of Skating. In this video, we're teaching you guys the backward stride. So we're gonna start with the backward stance, how it differs from the forward stance. I also talk about getting started when you're uh, going backwards, and then when you're into that backwards uh, skating stride, how to optimize that stride and be a little bit quicker. Let's get to it. We're here with Scott Grover. He's been teaching power skating for over 30 years, and he's gonna give you the basics of the backward stride. Okay, we're gonna start by setting up our base once again, and dropping our center of gravity. Now, there is one difference between forwards and backwards, and that's in forwards, we're going this direction. So you can afford to be, as you go faster, you can be a little bit more out in front. When you go backwards, if you go out in front, it puts you up on your toe here, and that's gonna put you on your nose. So the big thing is, make sure that you're a little bit more up and almost like you're sitting back in the seat, all right? And now what we would do for all our new players is we would start with your hands up and your hand tucked in, not hands leaning on thighs or drop down forwards. And then just take little steps, little steps, just so you get used to going backwards and you know that you can go backwards without falling. That's a big thing, confidence is everything. And then as you start getting more comfortable, you can start making the stride a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger until we get to maximum range of motion, which is all the way out and all the way back in. Key is always work towards maximum range of motion. We've learned the basics of getting your balance and getting moving backwards with the backward stride. Now Scott is gonna teach you a good stride technique when you're skating backwards. Okay, a lot of coaches and a lot of coaching manuals teach C-cut. Like the first half of the C, after that, the C teaches you a thousand things wrong. So I'd like to completely change the thinking to either half a heart, half a teardrop, or half a raindrop. Basically, your foot's gonna start here, it's gonna go out to the side, then it's gonna come around and back in. C is here, boom. The problem with C is that that foot in that direction there stops you from going that direction. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of it more of a push out to the side, keep my heels riding in the same direction, and then pull it back in. So you get push out, and you also get push as you come back in. The key point to this is that the pushing foot always has to stay a little bit in front of the balancing foot. So when you go out and when you come back in, you wanna make sure that that foot stays slightly in front of the balancing foot all the time. Again, this is the pushing foot, this is the balancing foot. Make sure that that foot stays slightly in front of the balancing foot all the way out, all the way back in. And you'll have lots of success with backward skating. We've learned good balance in the backward stride and good technique in the backward stride. Now we wanna get you up to speed and going fast right off the start. So you can start with speed and continue with speed in the backward stride. So Scott is gonna talk about the getting started in the backwards stride. Okay, backwards power takeoff. Number one, we wanna be back in that position. Hands up, knees bent, up and over top the feet. Now, it's just a crossover, which means you're gonna step on the left foot and pivot as the right foot pushes. Then the right foot after push will cross over in front just like that. So if I show you fast, it's basically we set up here nice and low, it's one, two, three, and away we go. Scott, what are some of the mistakes you see when uh, players are trying to get going fast, get skating backwards? Well, there's two major ones. Number one is when they push with the right foot, because they're used to pushing behind, that's C cut again, because they're used to pushing behind, the foot gets back here, and then they have to cross it in front. Almost impossible to do. Very tough to do. So basically, you gotta keep the foot out in front as you push. The other one is 17 million crossovers. They go, And by then, the other team's gone to sleep. No. <laughs> the problem with that is that's, number one, way too much work and a waste of energy when you can do one and get the same, exact same thing and probably go faster. So one crossover, and away we go, and we're right into the stride. Thanks for watching the videos. Those tips should help you guys improve your backward stride. Remember those tips. Stay nice and balanced over your feet. Don't lean too far forwards. Uh, you want a nice, good, full stride and good technique. One other uh, common problem that I like to mention is that I notice some players, when they're trying to skate backwards, they like to lean over and look at their feet to make sure they're doing it properly. The problem is, when you're looking down, 
Uh, first of all, you can't read the play. Second of all, it's putting your head down there, like Scott mentioned, and all your weight is forwards. So if you find yourself looking at your feet and also being off balance, feeling like you're on your toes the whole time you're trying to skate backwards, it's probably because you're bending over and looking at your feet. So don't look at your feet, trust your edges and trust yourself. And if you can do that, you're gonna get better a lot faster. So thanks a lot for watching this video on backwards skating. And don't forget to check out our other videos. And also thanks to Scott Grover for being the guest instructor in this video. Don't forget these videos are brought to you by HockeyShot.com. They have the best hockey training aids out there. Stuff like nets, targets, shooting pads, training tiles, slide boards, all kinds of products to help you guys improve your skills. If you wanna check out their products, I have the link in the video description.